Now most people realise these days that, you know, the new vehicles we've got to play with are really good. But at the end of the day, a manufacturer is always presenting you with the latest composition of compromises. There are some things that can be really improved on a vehicle. For obvious choices, things like tyres, you know, the standard manufacturer's tyres are going to sound really good in a showroom environment. And suspension is a lot like that too, because basically most vehicles are built with suspension that is just there to do the job. It's not particularly good at anything, but opposite lock is good at suspension, really good. At opposite lock you've got a choice, of course, of a couple of different types of suspension. And here to tell us more about it is Greg, who's fitted more than his share of both, haven't you mate? A couple of, uh, couple of suspensions in my time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what do you got to choose from, to start with, when someone comes well, to Opposite Lock? Two main brands we use, Tough Dog or Opposite Lock. Yep. Depends on what the guest or customer is looking for. So, yeah. you know, we cater for mums and dads right up to extreme guys. And to some degree, you've got a separation there straight away. Opposite lock suspension, you know, with 40 years experience fitting everybody in Australia who ever made a shock absorber, has at some stage put it through the opposite lock mill. When you get experience like that and you come up with your own brand of suspension, you can bet that it covers nearly all the bases straight away, doesn't it? That's right, that's yeah. right. So opposite lock suspension gives you, what, a couple of inches lift if you want it? Yeah, up to two inch. Up to two inch lift, yeah. which is just nice and cruisy for that's touring, right. for most four wheel driving. The comfort factor. Yeah, comfortable, you can, depends on the weight that you're gonna be carrying, but yep. you know, if you want to put extra weight in the back, we can have the springs heavier in the rear so you can put more weight in. Um, but if you'd want it just for comfort, driving around town, the occasional off-road on the weekend, keep it nice and comfortable. And then you've got things like, you know, a much bigger bore on the shock absorber. Uh, things that just make a difference when you've got to cope with the B-grade tracks that we call motorways here in Australia. And that's where the OL suspension is going to suit the family tourer, the all-round guy. Uh, Tough Dog, too, has suspension that covers much the same bases but they go a whole lot further in terms of lift and they competition do. ability, don't <laughs> they? <laughs> they do indeed. They go right up to, like I said, the extreme guys, um, right up to 70 mil big bores, yeah. yeah. adjustable shocks, you're gonna have different rides and you know, different settings. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for a lot of people, I mean, I'm one of them, for the sort of general four wheel drive touring I do, the last thing I want is a shock absorber that I need to adjust. And that's why on my touring truck, I've got the standard opposite lock suspension with a two inch lift for that vehicle. And that is pretty much as good as it gets for all the general touring and off-roading that I do. But if I was gonna step it up a league and get really quite serious <laughs> and give myself another four inches of lift and go playing hard on the weekends, I'd probably step over to the That's tough right. dog. So Greg, why do people fit good aftermarket suspension? Well, lots of reasons, John, depending on you know, what ride they want, what they're going to carry, all that sort of stuff. Like the Prado here, we've got bull bar, we've got a winch, driving lights, dual batteries in the front as well. So if you leave the standard suspension in with that, yeah. it's just not going to ride the same. So going off-road on the weekend, that sort of thing, beef up the suspension, opposite lock or tough dog, depending on what you like. Yep. Um, brings it up to a better height. So it brings it up to a better height, adds a whole lot more controllability at the same time. It does. And I guess the best thing about good suspension is it doesn't leave you with that leaky, gone flat feeling out in the middle of nowhere, does no, it? that's exactly right. Yeah. It's not just about the weight at the front, though, is it, Greg? No, that's right. When you're getting uh, loaded up at the back, towing caravans, trailers, that sort of stuff, both opposite lock and tough dog suspension have a range of different options for how much you're going to carry, you know, how the car's going to ride for you. Yeah, and... When you do decide to leave the caravan or the camper trailer to one side of the track and go and play, all of a sudden it's all about articulation. And that's where, once again, opposite lock or tough dog have got the movement that'll keep you happy, haven't they? That's exactly right. Yeah, right, eh, Greg? Let's go do some controlled bouncing then, mate. Sounds good to me. 